Hello, 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 and welcome back to our channel. And we're in the kitchen because we're fixing to get cooking. So come back and see what we're going to cook today. Now this recipe that I'm trying today, it's my recipe. I didn't find it on Facebook or TikTok. I actually had maybe copied it down from a TV program or a magazine. I've been downsizing my house and going through and getting rid of a lot of stuff. And I've got these totes all through the house that have stuff in it. So I've been going through the totes and pitching out stuff that I don't need or don't want to use anymore. And I found that recipe in there and I was reading it and I thought that looks like that'd be pretty good. So lo and behold, I had all the ingredients here at the house to make it. I didn't even have to go and buy anything. So that's what I'm going to do. And it's called a tasty mac and chicken casserole. So let's give it a try. Okay, here are all the ingredients together here. And let me read them off to you. And once again, I'll tell you the recipe. The name is Tasty Mac and Cheese Veggie Chicken Casserole. Quite a long title and lots of ingredients, as you can tell. It calls for four tablespoons of melted butter. And you split it in half and have one and three. I haven't melted these yet, but I'm fixing to get that done here. Then you need one cup of 2% milk, which I have right here. Eight ounce cooked rotini pasta, which I have right here. Um, two cups cooked diced chicken. And this chicken here is the ones that I found on sale at our store for 39 cents a pound. So I just cooked up, they were leg quarters, so I just cooked up a few leg quarters. And uh, when they got tender and fallen off the bone, I picked the meat off and shredded it. So I would have that. Four cups of frozen vegetable sauce. Now what I did for the vegetable, I didn't have like a bag of just mixed vegetables. So I got several different types. And I took one cup of each vegetable to make the four. I figured that would give it variety, make it colorful. So this one cup is from the California blend. This is a cup of spinach. This is a cup of Brussels sprouts. And this is a cup of peas and carrots. Then it calls for two and a fourth cups of shredded cheddar cheese. And I've got that the shredded cheddar cheese right in here. Uh, one fourth cup of dry breadcrumbs. And y'all probably can't see them, but they're right here. Y'all, I had to make my own breadcrumbs. I didn't have any panko breadcrumbs in the cabinet. So what I did, I have bread that I keep in the icebox to make bread pudding. I just got that out, toasted it, and scraped it, and crumbled it up, and made my own breadcrumbs right there. I think it'll work. Um one tablespoon grated parmesan cheese and i think that's it for all the ingredients so let me get to get to putting it together for you okay the first thing it says to do you preheat your oven to 400 and i've got that going then you combine the three tablespoons of your four tablespoons of butter you take three of them they're melted and you combine that which i've got right here i'm fixing to put that in last um, with your milk, your pasta, your chicken, your veg and cheese in the eight inch baking dish. So we're just going to put everything right here into the baking dish. This is the milk, then the pasta, then the veggies. I'm going to stir this around a little bit first before I put the, and the butter. Peas and carrots. The California blend. Probably should have chopped them up a little bit. Now 
Here's the chicken. Okay, let's go over that again just in case I'll make sure I didn't leave anything out. You put together the butter, check, the milk, check, the pasta, check, the chicken, check, the four veggies, check, and the cheddar cheese. See, I'm glad I checked it because I forgot my cheddar cheese. Double check. There almost ain't enough room in here for all this goodness. Okay, then after you get that all mixed together, it says in another dish, which I have here, you're going to combine your breadcrumbs, your Parmesan cheese, and your remaining melted butter. And mix together. Let's see if I can sprinkle this on top without a lot of trouble. I'm going to get a spoon to sprinkle it. Spread everything out in the pan. I'm surprised they don't have you put the cheese on top instead of mixing it in with your chicken and stuff, but that's what the recipe said. Okay, then you're going to put it in the oven and bake it for 30 minutes. So, I will be putting it in the oven and baking it. When it gets done, here's what it looks like. Let me pick that up and show you. There's the finished product. And then when it gets done in 30 minutes, I'll come back and we're definitely going to taste it because I've never had this before. So I have no idea what it's going to taste like. So I will see you in 30 minutes. Hello, I'm back and the casserole is finished. And so now we're going to give it a little taste test. Here's what it looks like after it's finished cooking. Let's see if I can get the camera to show it. I tried to let it cool down a little bit before I come in here because I knew that it was going to be hot. And I'm thinking it's probably going to have to cook a little bit more. I don't think it's heated all the way through. Here's what it looks like. I'll take a taste and then if I have to put, whoops, put it back in the oven, I will. Mmm. It's definitely good. I do like it. But if I make it again, and I probably will make it again, the next time I'm going to mix all the ingredients up in a bowl and then put it in this dish because there wasn't hardly enough room in here to stir all that stuff. I will mix it up in a separate bowl and then pour it in here. But it is good. It's very really good. needs a little salt. Stay a little salt. Thank you guys for coming and visiting with us. And y'all come back and see us any old time. Bye for this one.